We jump into game number three at Aldang up two games to Lord Crusades uh, zero. Now we have a priest against a paladin. We got two warriors, priest the holy light, duking it out. Yep. Now the question is, who do you think is favored in this matchup, Hermes? So what I thought previously, like uh, before. Whispers of the old god. Oh, the greetings. Oh, beautiful. Oh, the greetings. Oh, beautiful. The good manners. Yeah, good manners. I love it. I'm loving it. Are you going to have real good manners, real terror? <laughs> he, he's probably not going to have any good manners. Oh, we got real terror yeah. right yeah, behind yeah. us. A little zone die. It's yeah. been a long day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I've. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. A heads up Doomsayer yeah, preventing the turn that's three at Twilight Elder. Ooh, oh, Forbidden, forbidden Shaping. Shaping. That's actually very interesting. Lord Crusade is a lover of fun cards. Yeah, he What'd is. What'd you say? He is. Very good, very good. Would you say it's a good card, though? It's a good curve filler. I feel like it's most optimal around, like, about turn seven, turn eight. Oh, so you can yeah. guarantee, yeah, well, guarantee, guarantee, guarantee good. quotation marks. Yeah. Can, can a decent minion. Yeah. question from the audience here? Absolutely. How, how is that? Or to say, made it this far with the Yankee deck. The element of surprise. Point. You really can't question it. Until it, makes it this far. It's probably making next level meta reads. Yeah. Oh, I really love this combo. Aldor into the um, Acolyte. Like, yeah. Oh, it draws tons of cards. It's just so much value. Yeah. I feel uh, right now we're whispering on the that is, that is. That is indeed. You are correct. This is a very interesting Cthulhu Priest deck. Yep, that is Holy cool. Champion, what do you think about that card? Um, I feel like most of the time Holy Champion isn't really going to stick. But now that, but now that Whisper of Those Gods and a lot of cards that are being removed, I feel like it's going to stick a little bit more. Do you think Lord Crusade runs the new uh, Hooded Acolyte alongside Holy Champions? Since they I, both, I definitely like that. I definitely like that. They both proc off the yeah. same. Uh, yeah. I actually think put it. Shields? Yeah, I actually think put it. Acolyte is one of the most sickest Cthulhu uh, generators because you have so many ways to combo. Combo. You have like circle of healing. You have holy. Nova. Yeah. You have power master. Like you can power master, play a spell, and then you can circle healing your whole board. You get a tons of Cthulhu. To make stacks. the biggest yeah, Cthulhu. Yeah, exactly. And then you all you need to do is just solve the whole game and just burst your opponent down. But how I feel about this matchup is that. Priest really lost a lot of the control cards, such as Light, Light Bomb. Bomb exactly. being the biggest one. Yeah, biggest one. But he also lost Balance Chosen, being yeah. one of the most powerful sustained cards that Priest exactly. had. Exactly. We, we did get uh, Power Tentacle. However, Which seems I, to be a, a, yeah. quite a questionable uh, card to yeah. play. Yeah, and the word, and then the name itself is also questionable. Yeah, <laughs> questionable to some. Uh, <laughs> if we see uh, Forbidden Shaping do its work, getting a 6 5 no. taunt no. minion. No. So with a card like Forbidden Shaping, it's kind yeah. of a hit and miss. Yeah, this is definitely a hit and miss. So that's why I feel like it should optimally be used on a 7 or 8 drop, just so I can guarantee, almost guarantee a very good menu. Or at least something like that would stick on one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But the question is... How... <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Terrible joke. Well, I feel like Control Paladin is actually really good in the meta right now just because of the quality alone. To easily deal with these stick stickier creatures on board. Yes, the quality yeah. alone plus all their peacekeepers and yeah. the keeper commands. Oh, this absolute control. Yeah. Not only that, Forbidden Healing, such a versatile uh, healing yeah. card for the new Healadin. Mm -hmm. And then for Paladin itself, I feel like it's still susceptible to certain matchups, such as burst potential kind of matchups, like still Rogue, like Miracle Rogue, yep. and also uh, the traditional Freeze Mage. Mm -hmm. So they still have that kind of disadvantage. Both of these classes have these kind of disadvantages. Yeah, there's no one perfect class, yeah. otherwise the game yeah. would be broken. Yeah, you would definitely be broken. So, like, although Control Paladin got a little bit stronger, you still know that it's still vulnerable to the same sort of, same sort of classes pre-Whispers of the Old Gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Control Pilots do have a fun new toy in Ragnaros Light Lord. Mm -hmm. Just the, the ultimate value healing card. The yeah. ultimate sustain. Yeah. You get an 8 mana, 8-8, eight, eight, and 8 health. Yeah. I feel like it replaces uh, Lay on Hands. Yep, I feel like Lay on Hands got a lot weaker since a lot of healing cards actually came out. Yep. Yeah, such as its Forbidden Healing mm -hmm. and um, like the Light Lord as well. So I actually prefer Solemn Vigil now. Solemn Vigil is absolutely like yeah. insane with board clears, yeah. higher with quality. Yeah, especially when you have the Doomsayer too, so... Yes. Yeah, you can combo that for easy two draws. 
with zero mana. Gets in the frame fetch. Because sometimes. Oh, hey, the Holy Champion getting uh, buffed by Ragnaros. Yep. Well, That's a heads up Holy Champion. Yep. And oh, also into oh and an Entomb. Also valid, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> But oh, that's also very interesting that he uses the 5, 7, 2, hit the 1, 1. Oh. Alan Deng does have a... Oh, he has a Sylvaz, but let's go see how to keep her old man to kind of keep the Holy Champion in check. But I do believe Sylvaz is a better drop here. Mm -hmm. Because even if he uh, cripples or, say, turns the Holy Champion yeah. to a 3-3, three, three, yeah. he can't deal with it immediately. Exactly. And I can still gain health. Yeah. I like that. Oh, by but, the way, the Tomb does come out. Yeah, he's got a second in Tomb. Mm -hmm. Entomb is still a pretty powerful control yeah. card. What do you think about the, the, uh, the trade there instead of going face? I actually prefer going uh, face a bit because I feel like... You know, what I really like to know is... I like how he makes a guy! Yeah. That, that's a play! Yeah. Beautiful! Yeah. He's indeed... Oh no, he's blowing his hand! His hand is being blown! Yeah. Oh! 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 Evil. Oh, but that kills his own whole yeah, champion. Yeah, that's but. true. Oh. But does he really care? There's a lot of things going on in yeah, this game! Yeah. What, what I really want to know is how many cards do these players have? No, I mean deck. Oh, oh let's, so, let's take a quick yeah, yeah, cover. Let's take a quick look. So oh. there's a 14. And a 16. And a 16. So definitely oh, yeah. the uh, Paladin is actually hit on Fatigue. So if this ever goes into oh, Fatigue. behind on Fatigue. Well, behind on Well, it right, depends yeah, on yeah, how yeah, you right. want to take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, 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 let's see how you want to look at that. Uh, looks like a uh, semi-board clear uh, from Lord Crusade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Alani is having a bit of a riot yep. from the play earlier. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, we see Al Alan Dang's winning the Zop heal again, mm -hmm. which is very powerful in my opinion. It's, it's definitely very powerful. It's a single card that, that brings back all your uh, yeah, powerful right. death metal minions, like mm -hmm. Sylvanas, Cairn, the heal bot. Mm -hmm. Especially when they're missed, like when the priest is missing out on the light bomb now. Yeah, it's a this, very yeah, hard to yeah, deal yeah, with. It's so hard to deal with nowadays with the, with the priest. Yeah, even excavated evil can only do so much. It's like it's a worse version of Hellfire. Exactly. So, how do you? So he's gonna play the Doom Seer too. He also has to play out cards in his hand, or else he's kind of build himself, so he actually has needs to decide what to play. Team Sayer seems pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely... With the damage on board, he can't deal with the Doom Sayer immediately, so it's also quite good. You know what? Whoa! Oh! Sorry. Well, I got a little excited there, because uh, according, for, according to the very informed audience, Last turn, Alan Dank spent a coin just to set up for a lay on hand. Which is a pretty standard play in my opinion, but, that, that, but, but, to, yeah. but to the minds of many, yeah, yeah, many, yeah, many, yeah. Um, To not overdraw, right? Yeah. To not overdraw. We're talking about heads up plays. Yeah. Heads up! Yeah. Oh boy! Alan Dank! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> yep. Al Wonderful. Yep. Oh, yeah. Alan Dank definitely thinking ahead. <laughs> By using yep. the coin and not overdrawing with the play on hands. Yep. Now, okay, we do need to ask ourselves a question here. Yeah. Uh, Lord Crusade is in a very bad position. Mm -hmm. how, how do you think he gets up? Now, he does have Cthulhu to do some burst damage, but... One question is, how big is this Cthulhu? Uh, I wish we could dive into his deck yeah. right now to take yeah. a look at his Cthulhu size, yeah. but yeah. Um, we're going to really need to see a problem. I, I'm just wondering, like, even if even if the paladin plays this off, I'm wondering if the the priest can actually clear it. He does have a lot of AOE in hand. He's just double yeah, XP yeah, evil yeah, yeah, yeah. Nova, but you know the um the death rattle Nazoth heal it in. Yeah. Doesn't actually run a lot of swarmy things. It runs big, yeah, big sticky yes, threats. Sticky well, by sticky, yeah. I mean just. Just a Cairn, actually. Just a Cairn. Well, yeah, definitely just a Cairn. And um, a Twilight Summoner. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting inclusion. I personally think this card is too slow. Yeah, I definitely think so, too. Um, you're okay. investing in like, a lot of mana for 1-1. One, one. That could actually also be Silence. Yep. Or still from you, from Cabal. <laughs> which, is, which feels really bad. <laughs> but as we can see, uh, in Lord Crusade's hand, he does not have. Mm -hmm. but, oh, double! But he's playing around. He's playing around Cabal Shadow. Yeah, uh, I, I would definitely play around Cabal Shadow Priest. Oh, he's gonna proc it. Yep. Wow. Yep. I saw that play coming from a mile away. I did too, but I yeah, like yeah, how he did it. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. 
Oh, now the audience goes wild. Their, their minds are blown. Yep. Oh, wow. And the full board clear from Lord Crusade. Yep. What a long game. Yep, yep. So just because a lot of AOE yeah, removals that I actually use, <laughs> Alan Deck could actually use his Azoth now that I've lost his top He seems to drop his off immediately after the 2 1 1. And Lord Crusade follows in hand with the Sylvanas. Uh huh. To try to steal one of those uh, Twilight Summoners. I was going to call them faces, yeah. but you know, yeah. they're all kind of in the same yeah. realm. Yeah, yeah. They're like relatives. Yep, they all got the tentacles and the creepy yeah. vibes going on. Look at that Nazoth. Yeah. Oh, how menacing. Yeah. I like those tentacles kind of go down yeah. and they come out and you're like, oh, come, come get some tentacles. Yeah, bro. I, I still like Yoxeron better. No offense. Well, no you, offense. Yoxeron has thinner tentacles. He has a bigger mouth. He's got, he's got mouths for eyes. He does. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I, I, I like this. Pumping is. I like this as well. Yeah, popping his death battles. You do want to play around and pause as much as possible. Yeah. You don't want him. Uh, you don't want the priest stealing any of these. The temple swing is actually a little bit too big, too huge. Mm -hmm. But this is a bit difficult to deal with as uh, for Alan Dang. But he does have an insane board, so I don't really don't see him losing this game. Yeah, I actually don't see him. Yes. Way too too many removal hand that can deal consistently with the priest board, and priest is definitely running out of his team. He has a couple. He has a dead card in hand, which is a circle of healing. We are not 100% sure if he runs another off that, but we only have seen one, so he probably is saving it with the Titan. I do believe so as well. Mm -hmm. Here he does a holy nova. Not going to clear the board whatsoever. Um, I th I do believe he needs to kill the uh, one one here. And yeah. Ooh, he's going to be more valuable. Hmm. It's a 5-5, five, five, not yeah. bad. At least it wasn't the uh, yeah. the Eldor there. If it wasn't Eldor, it would feel really bad. Absolutely. So, ooh, Solid Vigil is played. So, Alan Dang is actually running a lot of uh, draw power with yeah. Solid Vigil and Leon. I so do believe that as a control paladin, or just control decks in general, do need a lot of cards mm -hmm. just to get their attributes. They run a lot of situational cards, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, good inclusion. Yep, yep, yep. Heads up deck yep. building. Yep. I love it. But at the same time, if you're playing against like a more control matchup, you do have to take note of how many type of, how many cards you have in your deck, mm -hmm. and then. Like oh. play your healing, no, play your card draws accordingly. He goes for a heal first, so he wants oh. to get an 8 drop, and he's supposed to get 10 drop. Turn eight, turn eight. Oh, what is that? I think he was looking for a Ragnarok or something like yeah. that. Otherwise, oh. he's quite for 10. Yep, yeah, exactly. 10 mana? Yashirod! Oh, no, no, no. Yashirod, but there's a lot of uh, neutral 10 drops down there. That is true.